Good evening, good evening, how are you? Ryan J here. Uh, you're on this page, massive life-changing value. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope uh, mentally you're sound, happy, healthy, family's all right, um, and things are just clicking along for you as much as they could click along in this atmosphere and uh, what we're dealing with. Um, so, yeah, all in all, I've been kind of busy, which has been awesome. Um, gangbusters in business, doing good, doing good. Was involved in a 20-some-day Rise Up Challenge Summit. Uh, that was cool. They raised a lot of money for charity, went to a good cause. You know, and it was just good vibes, lots of information, lots of high fives, good vibes, which is needed in a time like right now. It's easy to succumb to the circumstances that we didn't create and be fueled with that negative stuff. It was refreshing to get on a page and be a part of a movement, I would actually say, a genuine movement to rise up and to rise the level of thinking and vibration and uh man just a lot of good things came about it the last three days i've been doing and this has been on on my main page the last three days i've been doing lives on how to make money right now from home so that was pretty cool um, I wanted to step on here because, uh, man, I kind of feel like I've been ignoring you guys and that pulls at my heartstrings. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right. Uh, are there mistakes in marketing? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe we just do stuff and it, it works if it works and we don't, if it don't, you know, we just do stuff. Well, I have a list of 10 common mistakes, the 10 most common. Now, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of things that I won't cover, but these are like genu genuinely the uh, top 10, all right? So, um, so that's that. Now, I wanted to actually... Uh, just let you know, if you don't know, um, it's the pin post in this group that I do offer 10-minute coaching calls for free. So if you want to run something by me, uh, go right ahead, you know, drop me a line. We'll schedule a time and date and we'll uh, get that settled. And I'd love to help. Love to help you out. Okay. Also, before we go any further... I would actually genuinely like your input as to um, what I can do to bring you more value. What are you looking for from me as a part of this page? Uh, is it more how-tos? Is it? You know, are there specific subjects you would like me to uh, to dive into that I haven't? Um, I'm looking for input from you guys so that I can make this page better suited towards your needs. All right, just because my name says it at the top, it's really not about me, it's about you because thank you very much for taking the time to be on this and be on this platform. So I wanna do my best to provide value for you. Okay. Great marketing isn't output, it's creating business outcome. Hmm, well, that's excellent. It's not about output, it's about outcome, all right? Making sales, that's what you want to do. That's why you're spending the marketing and advertising dollars. You know, that's why you're spending that money, is to recoup it back with sales, and not only sales, relationships, and customers for life. That's like the thing we're all trying to do here. 
So let's get into the uh, top 10. Top 10 common mistakes in marketing. Number one, no vision or purpose to the marketing effort. No vision or purpose. So just coming up with stuff and, you know, just throwing money at it and uh, seeing if it works. All right, well, let's let's think it through a little bit. Let's, you know, find out what area we're in, who our customers are, and put together a game plan. It's planning, you know, plan it out. Uh, so figure out the purpose and then put a plan in action behind it. So have the vision, have the plan, make the action. Number two. Assuming you know your customers. Ooh, this is a big one. And for a while, um, for a while I actually struggled with this. I didn't know who my customers were. Didn't know. I was just like, if there was a point in time, I thought everybody, what I offer, everybody wants. Everybody's my customer. Well, hold on your whore to your horses there, cowboy. Um, that's not really how it works. And to figure out who your customer is, I actually did a training. And the core training here, right here, core training uh, last week about becoming like and having a vibe with your customer and core training kind of touches on figuring out who your customer is so figure out who you're selling to when you know that well, then it kind of makes it a little bit easier number three number three on the top 10 common marketing mistakes linear thinking versus creative thinking all right linear everything's straight everything's straight you know it's just straight line well okay straight lines are boring yeah they get you to point a to point b the fastest but when it comes to personalities when it comes to customers when it comes to relationships when it comes to interpersonal relationships and psychology, uh, creativity will serve you a long way. So make sure you're throwing creativity into your number one, which was vision and purpose. Number four, looking at the world from your point of view, how you see the world, all right? Well, how I see the world is a whole heck of a lot different than my, how my customer sees the world. Uh, my situation and how I view things are like real different than my ideal customer. So it's not really about me. It's about servicing the customer and what does the customer want and need and figuring that out. And once you have that figured out, then you can service that need. And that's why we're salespeople in the first place is to service the need of the customer. So understanding the customer and not my point of view, but their point of view, when you understand that, it's like a light switch. Here, I actually got a light switch. Uh, oh, that's how they think. Kind of like that. All right. Where are we at? Was that four? Oh, number five. Failing to understand the link between marketing and selling more stuff. All right. There's, there's a link between your marketing and the sale. And then there's just selling stuff. So let's let's come up with a analogy story time. All right, let's say you're a fisherman 
and uh, you're down on your boat or you're out on the dock and uh, you catch a whole bunch of fish, whether it's rod and reel or you're netting them or spearing them or whatever. So then what you do is you put them in your uh, wheelbarrow and you have a whole bunch of ice on it and you're rolling it up to the market. Let's, let's say that it's a farmer's market type deal. And so that you got a wheelbarrow full of fish and you're just like yelling, who wants fish? Who wants fish? Anybody wants some fish? Who wants to buy a fish? Okay, you're selling. And actually, at that point in time, probably not a bad route to go. Who wants fish? I got fish. You want to buy fish? All right. Well, that's just going for the sale. You'll sell one fish to one person. Well, the marketing behind it is to, like, let's understand the customer what their wants and needs are do they want fish do they need fish how could i sell them fish by explaining oh it's got uh um, it's got the healthy fat and it's fresh off the fresh out of the water you know fresh fish uh, did you have dinner plans tonight? If you didn't have dinner plans tonight, look at this guy. He looks good. You know, market it. And then you're building a relationship with the customer rather than who wants fish. Both, you know, both are, both would work. But in the end, you want to build the relationship and uh, sell more fish. So... Number six, okay, being in trans, transmit mode rather than receive mode. So that, that kind of goes back to like the fish thing, transmitting the message. Who wants fish? I got fish, want to buy a fish. That's just transmitting the message rather than receiving a message and learning about your what your customer, who your customer is. We're learning about that what their wants needs are and tailoring it to them because it's not about me now it's kind of about me when i'm just walking around with a wheelbarrow and saying who wants fish who wants to buy a fish all right marketing understanding the need and then tailoring the message to the need selling the fish so and that would the receiving part is listening and understanding listening and understanding to your customer. Uh, six, seven, living in the past. What, what worked, what worked last year is not working right now. During like this present moment, what worked last year is not working right now. Uh, let's just take the obvious and then we can turn that into sales. Um, Last year, you were able to sit in an office room and uh, have meetings. That doesn't work right now. You can't have meetings. You can have a Zoom meeting. You can have a conference call. You can be on a three-way. There's You can utilize technology. A year ago, nah, probably, nah, let's just sit on down. Let's just sit on down and have a meeting. That worked a year ago. It doesn't work today. So it's the same thing with your marketing. The marketing campaign that you had last year might not be relevant, present, or the customer's needs have changed. So you have to learn, adapt, pivot towards what the times call for. So that was living in the past number seven. Number eight. Oh, we're getting close here. We're getting close. Thinking in terms of outcomes versus, oh, <clears throat> sorry. Thinking in terms of outcomes, but outputs, all right? So that kind of goes to this. It isn't about output. It's about what the outcome is, all right? So how to explain that would be, let's just throw... 
thousands of dollars at market marketing and we don't really have a plan and we're just going to hope for the best well we'll see what our roi is return on investment and uh we'll we'll just take that well why wouldn't you reverse engineer it and come up with your outcome like how many sales you want, need, or desire, and then work backwards and work it that way. Then come up with a plan that makes sense, that follows number one, which was the vision and the purpose, and work it that way. Number nine, not learning from your customers or clients. This ties back into uh, number two, of assuming you know, um, you have to, all right, you have one of these, but two of these. So open these up and listen to the wants, needs, and desires and cater it that way. So if you believe that everybody wants maroon shirts, man, maroon's the hot color, hot color this year, it's gonna be gangster everybody's gonna want maroon shirts well and everybody comes in and they're like wow you certainly have a lot of maroon shirts here do you have anything else no we just got maroon that's what's going that's the that's the thing well it'd be kind of cool if you had like black or white or you know i like seafoam green do you have that no, we got maroon. All right, well, geez. Let's listen to what is actually happening. All right, listen to your guests, listen to the customers, and then cater to them. I mean, that's our job. That's our job, to service the customer with their needs, wants, to get more sales. All right, so... That was nine. Oh, ten. Learn from your mistakes. We're, we all make them. Just learn from them. So, number ten is not learning from your mistakes. So that's doing the same thing over that you did last year. You didn't change your marketing and you're still ordering maroon shirts. You haven't changed didn't listen, change. Learn from your mistakes, overcome, adapt. All right, so that's my uh, top 10 list right there. Woohoo! Uh, thank you very much for paying attention and watching. Remember that um, I got that free 10 minute coaching call. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Also, get into the comments, send, send the page a message. Um, with more topics or what you would like to see this page evolve and become and because uh, I want to provide you value and so you being my customer actually we're associates but I'm I'm opening up my ears and listening to you so please give me some feedback and let me know how I can improve and provide you more value all right till next time Stay safe, stay healthy and happy, and hope you're crushing it. Epic day to you. Till next time. Bye.